Welcome to HelpTheRealMath.com. In this example, we'll be trying to find which of these solutions are a factor of the polynomial we have here. Here we see we have four terms, and what we want to do when we see these four terms is we want to use grouping. All right, so basically we're going to take the first two terms and group them together, take the second two terms and group them together. So we have 21AB, take away 14AX, as the first group, the second group is positive 15BY, take away 10XYs. Now, the first thing we want to do when we're factoring this is look for the greatest common factor of the numbers, right? So we have a 21 here and we have a 14 here. The common multiple that they have is 7. So we're going to factor out a 7. And also we see that they both have an A. So the greatest common factor between them is 7A. And in the parentheses, we put whatever's left over. Uh, a faster way to get the terms that we get inside the parentheses is simply dividing with the greatest common factor. So 21AB divided by 7A will give us just 3B. Dividing negative 14AX by 7A will give us negative 2Xs. The A's will go away when we divide that term. Now for the second set of numbers, we automatically take the plus from the third sign and we're going to look for the greatest common factor of 15BYs and negative 10XYs. Here we see that 15 and 10 have a common factor of 5. And we also see in the variables that they both have a Y variable, so we'll factor that out as well. Now, what's going to be left over is the division of 15BY take away 10XY by 5Ys. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, and BY divided by Y is simply B. Now, Negative 10 divided by a positive 5 is negative 2. And xy divided by y is just x. Now that we have the two groups factored, we see that they have another common factor, which is 3b minus 2x's. So we're going to factor out the 3b minus 2x's. And in parentheses, we're going to put the two leftover terms in the next set of parentheses. So we have 7a's plus 5y's. Now that we complete a factor in this, all we have to do is match one of these two factors to the correct answer here, because we're looking for which of these are a factor of the polynomial. So here we have 3b minus 2x, and we see the list. It's our first one on the list here. So after comparing the first one to all the answers here, we have our solution is A.